Welcome to Scotland in another match in the Bing Crosby Cup. You're going to see some great golf here. And now I want you to meet our commentators, Peter Alice and Henry Longhurst. Well, the format is the same as in our other matches. They play a four ball over nine selected holes of the King's course here at Glen Eagles Hotel. And they play on a point system. That is two points for a hole in par, three points for one better than par, and one for one worse. And so now let's go and join Peter Ellis on the first tee. And have we got a match for you today. On my left here representing Great Britain, uh, probably one of the greatest Grand Prix drivers of all time, Jackie Stewart now retired and uh, playing off a handicap of 18 and probably busier than ever, Jackie. Busy flying all over the place, yes, but uh, unfortunately not enough time for golf, Peter, which is the sad thing in a morning like this. <laughs> but are you making any money? Um, well, the odd bob or two, but uh, but still, it's always off. But you used to be non-profit making, I remember that. I think I'm still non-profit making. <laughs> Partner, you, uh, Tony, you've got a good partner today. Looking forward to it. The last time we were together, we did a thing called the Superstars, <laughs> and he excelled in, in that tremendously. If he excels he? on the golf course off his handicap today like he did that day, well, you'd better watch out, America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks very lean and fit. And playing for the United States, one of the great superstars of the cinema industry, and a man that I've been a fan of ever since I saw him doing the most diabolical things with Cesar Romero and uh, Gary Cooper back in a film called Vera Cruz, Academy Award winning star Bert Lancaster. Bert, welcome to Scotland. It's a great pleasure to be here. And Lovely we, country. We hear that you're uh, no mean player. Well, I'm not a very good player, but. Uh... I'm real mean, yes. <laughs> Thank you, John. And John, you're expecting great things from your man, I'm sure, today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having a very good match. I uh, would like to give these boys a run for their money and see how it turns out. We'll have a good time anyway. And I hope you do as well. Now, after the first hole where uh, nobody succeeded in doing it in par on either side, the British have two points and the United States have a lowly one point. And we come to our second hole, which is the 11th on the King's course. That's the par 3 11th. And our second called the Deal's Creel, you'll see. Uh, Tony Jacklin. This uh, second hole, the 11th on the King's course, with a one iron. Into a slight breeze. And he's pushed it a little. Now, will it clear the bunker in front of the green? Yes, it does. And it pitched nice and soft for him. And that's going up into the middle of the green. Uh, perhaps a little fortunate to carry the bunker and then to get the right sort of kick. But you need a little bit of good fortune sometimes at this game of golf. Johnny Miller also with a one iron. And he really belted that, but he's pushed it. He's pushed it, pushed it, pushed it. That may catch the traps, pitches on the bank, and falls back into the big bunker, some 50 yards short of the flag. Ah, Jackie Stewart, partnering Tony Jacklin. And for a man who only plays a dozen games of golf a year, Tony, he's got a pretty good swing, hasn't he, and that usual competitive spirit. Oh, I tell you, I've never met anybody with a more competitive spirit than this man. Peter, it's incredible. It really is. We've done all kinds of things together, tennis or whatever it is. No. He's hit it high off the toe. It's going to the right of the green. Carried the bank, maybe in the sand trap. Well, it was a difficult shot. He hit a five wood. He said he practice, he hit a four iron. It wasn't enough. There's a slight breeze against. It's a difficult shot, but... Uh, He'll not be far away in the next one, I'm sure. Uh, Bert Lancaster with a handicap of 16 and a, a swing, uh, certainly a follow-through, Johnny, that looks a bit better than 16. Yes, he's a very athletic person. He's got a very good physique for uh, his age, and uh, he, I think he keeps himself in trim uh, shape. And He hits a good shot. He's hit a good shot there, a little bit left, but I think it's going to be on to the green with a little bit of luck. Fight now. Slow down, ball. Oh, just barely on that. Yeah, that's very unlucky for Bert Lancaster, but that was a, a good shot. Here he comes, uh, Johnny Miller from the bunker, some 50 yards. Very difficult shot indeed, but he's lying well. And that is quite brilliant. Very good shot, and he just pulled up a little short for him, but that was a superb shot. Jackie Stewart. 
Just watch the length of his swing for this shot. And he got it well up and down and back and through, and he got it out nicely. The great secret of bunker play is to have a long enough swing and with rhythm. And from the bunker at the back of the green, Bert Lancaster. Oh, beautifully played. Marvellous shot. Just bounced past for him, but that really was well played. Tony Jacklin, 18 yarder. Up the green. Oh, and he certainly looked to hit that hard enough, and just fell away. Absolutely to the whole side. So that's a three and two points. Jackie Stewart receiving six strokes from uh, his handicap 18 over these nine selected holes. Bert Lancaster, 16 handicap, receiving five strokes. And a little bit wide. But if he can hold that, he gets one point for his team. Johnny Miller, this for par three. So, one over par four and just one point for Johnny Miller. And it's left to Bert Lancaster to see if he can hold this for a par three and two points. Oh, he just fell on the low side. Yes, it's... Two points for the United States. And after three holes, there's nothing in it. And we come to the second of the two fine par four holes, rather longer, the 13th. Known as Braid's Broist, because it was laid out by James Braid, five times Open champion, around the turn of the century. Plenty of room, but also plenty of bunkers dotted around. And there's that light to patch is the green to which they have to play up. And both celebrities receive a stroke here at this hole. Well, I'm enjoying it here. This, first of all, is a lovely golf course. We don't have courses like this in America. They are very beautiful, but they're tailored. This is just built out of the natural flow of the, and style of the terrain here. And wherever you look, I mean, it's just a breathtaking view. Oh, Johnny Miller, again with a three iron. Well, we saw him play a magical shot at the last hole. He's standing below the ball, pinned today on this super par four. He's at the, uh, on the right side of the green. Miller has hit it towards the middle front, and will it bounce straight? Yes, it does. Goes down the green to the towards the back. Jacqueline with a seven iron. Could afford to pitch this one just on the front of the green, let it work its way down the hill to the hole. And that could be very close. So much depends on the bounce. And it bounced well for him, broke towards the flag. Just about 15 or 16 feet from the hole. Yeah, I would, on that shot right there, that's a okay. that's an interesting shot. What you want to do is hit just barely behind the ball, because if you hit, try to pick that out, you, you'll go right into that lip, because the ball's sitting a quarter buried. Do you see that? Yeah. Just a little bit buried, so hit just behind it. Take a good full swing at it. Now, Bert Lancaster, long bunker shot. Must play it just as if he's playing from the fairway. It just got too much sand. That's a super Will shot. it get up on the green? He did well to get it out. Well, Jackie Stewart with virtually an impossible shot. Very, very difficult indeed. And if he doesn't catch it right, he could drive the ball up under the lip of the bunker. He'll do well to get this out. And he does. That's a well out. Jackie Stewart, long chip and run. 
down the hill, ball swinging right to left. That's going to be pretty good. It didn't turn in as much as I thought it would, but that's a well played shot from Jackie Stewart. Now Bert Lancaster from practically the same line as Jackie Stewart, but uh, much nearer and using a putter. That's his fourth shot and looks to be running well. Oh, it's a marvellous putt. Very good speed indeed. Johnny Miller. Stop. Fight. Good speed, but just over borrowed. Tony Jacklin with a real chance of a birdie three. Fine drive, super second. Can he finish off the job? No, he can't. Just a par four and two points. Jackie Stewart with this for a five net four and two points. And he yanked him round. And so that's only one point with his stroke for Jackie Stewart. And another chance for the American team. Now this for a net four and two points for Bert Lancaster. Yes, well held. That's a good five after being in the trap for two. Good five in that bunker, I'll tell you. And finally, <coughs> Johnny Miller, this little one for his par four. The United States, uh, two ahead with three to play, and we come to the shortest hole on the course. 135 yards, the 16th. We're going to come to it from the left as we look at it now. A very pleasant, quite tricky little hole, surrounded by bunkers, the green there. Pin on the front third of the green today, and, uh, well, club selection all important. I think this is one of the classic cases of a short hole being short and still very testing. And not too testing for Mr. Miller, who whips that in there about six feet away. Beautiful shot. But I think so many course designers today insist upon the shortest short hole being about 185 yards up to 230 yards. And for most people, that's a wooden club shot. Here really is a, a superb short hole, only 135 yards. And of course, we have the postage stamp at Troon, which is about 120 yards or so. And Probably one of the greatest short holes in the world. But this is Tony Jacklin. Seemed to go very deep into the turf for that. Oh, look, is it? Oh, well, he was unlucky. That was really going right at the pin. Just took a bit of backspin. And what two lovely shots. Bert Lancaster. And applause, applause. So it Looks right. if it's online, and that's a good shot. Well, we only want one the other side, and then we've got it surrounded. Oh, well, now they're uh, turning the screw, as they say. A lot of pressure on wee Jackie. That's going to be all right. And he's just dragged it. <coughs> Tried to get it on the right side of the pin, but he's in the bunker with a fairly difficult one to play. You know what I want you to do? Put it I want you to putt it. Put it down. Putt it? Yeah. That's the best thing I've had all day. <laughs> <laughs> if you putt that, I think you're thoroughly sure you're getting it out, which is the main thing, and get a point. From the putter. OK. <laughs> Let me just tell you one thing. Yeah. You've got to hit it half as hard again as you think you have. Really? Because that sand's going to slow it down and that bank's going to slow it down. 
Yeah. Is that a penalty now or what? Yeah, you can't play the next two holes. <laughs> because of a broken ankle. Take the ball, ball first. Well, well after all that advice. Hit the ball first. Yeah. Well, I've seen them come off. In fact, uh, I mean, no stand. I've seen them come off often, but the great danger is not hitting the ball hard enough. But this could well be in the Guinness Book of Records. Mom. And well, where's the man from the Guinness Book of Records? That almost hit the flag. And the old fro knows a thing or two. Oh, Jackie Stewart. This would be one of the great, all time great pars, if you could hold this. Oh, what a tragedy. Left it nine inches short, dead in the hole. He'll just tap that in, I think, for a four and one point. Don't worry about me. You're all right. Go. You're all right. Beg your pardon. You're all right. Jackie, maybe. Bert Lancaster for two. What a putt. Oh, just on the low side. It's all right. And short, but he'll three. get a three and two points. got molasses on him, I tell you. Well done. Well done. Got molasses on him. Tony Jacklin desperately needing this in for a birdie two and three points. His partner Jackie Stewart having scored at one over par four and one point. American team two ahead and Miller very close for his birdie putt. Come on, you beauty. Oh, gee. That looked a good strike again, but it didn't go in. So oh, just three points for the British side. Oh, Johnny Miller, about seven feet. And has he hit it? Oh, only just. So oh, that's a birdie two and three points for Johnny Miller. At the 17th, the United States increased their lead by one point and so have an overall lead of five points. And the longest hole on the course, the 18th, 531 yards. Drive from there between the big bunker on the left and the one nearest to it on the right, if you can. Bert Lancaster with a stroke, hitting a, a, an iron. And he's played a magnificent shot, which is going to finish right in the, the middle right of the green, long way from the flag. But he has a stroke, and he's there for one. And, uh, well, that could pretty well close the door on the British side. Oh, Johnny Miller's third shot. Blade held well open. Hands low. Really whipped into that one. Throws it high in the air. Now for the bounce. Oh, look at that ball. Landed so softly, almost too softly and didn't deserve to finish as far away as that. Now playing his third shot, Jackie Stewart, pitching uphill, green all going up for the first 15 or 18 yards, so he can afford to be quite firm with this one. Oh, and I don't think he's given that enough. It'll pitch in the face of the green and pull up short. Herbert Lancaster on the green for net one. And wouldn't it be something if he can get down in two from here? Well, he's given it a good crack through the green, but that looks to be a perfect pace. Is it going to be an albatross? Well, well that really has closed the door. That looks like game, set and match, because he's only three or four inches from the hole. And well done. That's a four. Net three. An eagle. Four points. Jackie. Uh, Jackie Stewart from a long way off, a little nearer than Bert Lancaster's. Hurry, baby. Oh. Oh. Well, it's doing its best, but it still stops some six feet short. That's Tony Jacklin with oh, 16, 17 yard putt. Oh, come on, it's being thrown to the right. 
And then he's gone four and a half feet past. Johnny Miller. And he tried hard to get one in, but it just didn't turn at the end. So that's a par five and two points for Miller. Six points for the United States. Now Jackie Stewart, this for a par five, net four. Well done. It's five, net four, three points. And finally, Tony Jacklin, this for a birdie four and three points. Yes, he gets it. So, good finish. Points even on the last hole. So at the end of our selected nine holes, the Americans rather easily defeat the British by five points. And so the match ends with a, a resounding victory for the United States team. And what do we say about that, gentlemen? Well, we've decided that we're just too good for us. Uh, Bert uh, played exceptionally well today, we thought. Uh, Jackie's probably had better days, but I didn't play very well either. And, uh, well, what can you say, you know, when you get beat? What do you say? What do you say? <clears throat> well, I'm used to it. I, I was, uh, I've been beaten a few times in my life. Uh, I don't like it much, but then again, I don't really deserve much better today because I played very badly, Peter. But uh, I'm sorry I wasn't more help to my partner. Well, but, that's, was... but that's sort of handicap I should have been, but uh, there'll be another day. And we come to the victors. John, your man Bert there played very well today. He sure did. Even when he got in a little bit of trouble, he used his head and he uh, played out very nicely and uh, made points even on his four holes. And uh, then he had some good holes too, especially like number 18. And uh, I think that's the key to this game is to always be scoring points even on your bad holes. Right. Bert, that was very nearly an albatross, a net albatross on the last hole. I don't see too many of those. <laughs> no, I was very happy to make the natural birdie, I can assure you. Well, uh, He's an inspiration. Uh -huh. I just stand there and watch him. It helps my swing. It helps my attitude. Well, he tells me what to do when I'm in trouble. He makes it easy for I me. Can you enjoyed it. Oh, I loved it. And we hope you enjoyed it at home. Goodbye. <laughs>